so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. What is up everyone? My name is Nurujoid and welcome back to another video. Here I have my oppressor behind me and I think you know what it is again, another oppressor tutorial. And this time again it will be some useful tips with the oppressor and some more stuff uh, of course with flying upside down because I know some of y'all don't even know how to do this but this is the most OP trick currently me and Kanata and um, Metal for Metro know this. Uh, I th well, I think a lot more people know this, but from now on, as much as the people I fought, only these people that I know, so only two of them, can master it, like, as good as I can, or even the other way around. So, first of all, what you want to do is get yourself an oppressor, and uh, we're gonna get ourselves somewhere here in the middle of the city, like, where you have a lot of buildings, so it's gonna be more practical, so you can, like, even use this building it's located right here you can see you can remember it on the map in the central park somewhere here and uh, you can probably park it like this and uh, it's gonna be easy for you just to follow up uh, of course we'll be doing some missile dodging and of course I don't want to see any flares or stuff over here the only thing I want to see in your upgrades is the chaff of course engines and do not do the minigun or explosive shit just make sure you have homing missiles so Get on your oppressor and we're gonna be going up here and make sure to subscribe if you find this really useful because i think you will find this useful af so first of all use any flat a vertical surface or horizontal i think kind of i forgot which one it is i think horizontal so you are just gonna be going up against it and not just flat up against it like this pull your stick backwards you will need a control you can do this on mouse and keyboard i currently don't find that efficient because I haven't mastered it at all. My fingers are too bad for coordination, but whoa, the light just went off. Pull your stick back on your controller. So either Xbox or PS4 controller, pull your stick back and go slowly forward until you see that you're, you're leaning backwards. You will see eventually that you'll be leaning all the way back and you'll start following back just like this. You will see that will happen. But if you don't want to have that, if you do not want that to happen, just lean it back. And once he straightens up, just let him go up. You see just like this and uh once you master just flying like this just getting yourself on the back try standing that way so first of all what you have to remember is that this is um it's totally reversed like i'm gonna show you just wait here and i will show you how this is reversed so i have my gamepad in the bottom right corner i think you can see it it's not blocking anything you can see all the buttons are working and you should be able to see everything that i'm doing and now uh watch this up and down is again normal just like this left and right is left and right but once you go on a surface and once you turn yourself uh upside down on your oppressor it's going to be reversed so look when i go up it's now when i pull the stick up it's gonna the pressure is gonna go up if it was normal it will go down but this time it's gonna go up and down is gonna be down of course if you press to the right you, you can't just turn right like look at this if i hold it right it's just gonna flip me over you know and it's it's gonna start turning me like this on the right so you don't want to do that so turning is the one thing that you need to conquer it's a leaning your oppressor and it's like leaning your plane on the side and then pulling your stick back. It's the same method. So we're going to be going up again. If you, if you failed, we're going to be going up again and like this. So you're going to go up and down all the time. Make sure that you hold gas. So R2 or right trigger, I think it is. Lean your oppressor and then pull it down or pull your stick up. Or if you want to go to the left, pull your stick up and to the left a bit. If your oppressor starts going too much uh, back to its ge general position, just pull the stick into the wrong uh, other position, the contra. So if your oppressor is leaning on the right side, you're going to be pulling it to the left one, like this. You see, if, if it's leaning. And if you want, if you really want to go faster, you're going to, of course, uh, take in your right trigger or uh, R1. You can see how fast you can climb up. You can even go up to, I think, 200 miles per hour in a certain angle, just like this. And just always go up and down, up and down. If you want to go down, you can go down as easy as this. If you want to go up, you can use the glitch and climb up like this. Climb up with a speed faster than a rocket can go. And that's how you can avoid the Deluxo rockets or any other rockets. Chernobog, even your oppressor missiles. 
But if you really want to avoid your oppressor missiles, there's another trick for that. I currently don't have anyone online to show you this. But the, the only way you can do it is, let's say you, you're up here and you have a battle with an oppressor. You know what you're going to do? Just stay in your place, press R1, and let it dis descend. The rockets are just going to be going around you, and that's probably the easiest way to do it. Or, if you're if a Deluxo is going after you, the only thing you can do is just going like this, in circles. And the rockets will be missing you. Well, this is efficient sometimes, but the most efficient method is just going down. And uh, that's basically it for all of the uh, maneuvers and movements. There's, there's nothing special about it. And the one thing more you should know is killing ground targets on this is so much easier than on a regular presser. On the regular presser, I mean regular presser mode, you, you have to tilt. You can tilt only up to, I think, 30 or 25 degrees down. So it's you can see this, but if you're up over here, you can't lean and can't kill anyone who's down there. He, they can shoot you, they can look up as much as they want. Like, let me show you. If I go here... And if I take my minigun, I can look a, I can look up a lot more than you can. So I can look up to here. If I take this gun, I can look even more up. And I'm in a certain advantage, and you're not. So let's go up here again. And let me show you. You're going to be going upside down like this. But this time, do not use gas. Just go up and down. If, you, if you're falling too fast down, just press once R1 or just do something else. You can, or just hold gas if you want, but I think R1 will be the best option to do. If you're straightening out like this, just do it again, it doesn't really matter. The best thing is to move to a target. So let's say we have a target next to us right there somewhere. We're just going to be going to it like this. And once you're above the target, make sure you lean your pressure down, just like this. And you can see you can shoot straight down, and of course not destroy your pressure as I did, but you can do it a lot more efficient than just going around in circles and trying to do anything else except killing your target. Uh, you can miss a lot of times. I know I miss a lot of times when I do that because I am not too good with your pressure like that. I'm good on uh, fighting, well, up and up and wherever, everywhere except ground targets. And let's go again and let's get our MC. Okay, I can st I cannot request this vehicle. Let's try over the terabyte and nope, I cannot. But if I request my terabyte, it will probably bring my terabyte to me. Yep, it will. And let me get a bike. Oh, and never mind. I think I just got pranked by everyone here. So let me get to my terabyte and I'm going to show you one final thing for today's video. So I won't make it over 10 minutes. It is going to be, of course, the chaff method for uh, avoiding any possible missile, like any missile. Uh, I don't think this works for Chern Chernobog. Chernobog will shoot you however it can. Uh, if it locks on you, you're dead. So as soon as you hear the beeping, not the full bleep sound, but just the start of the beep, you need to fire at the chaffs and just get out of there as soon as possible. I mean, you. some would say it's a cowardly move, but it's not. It is actually really, really good. So let's say you're, I don't know, you're flying upside down peacefully. I fly most of my time upside down. When there's, when there's no threat, I fly normally. But when there is, I'm just in a full session upside down. And let's say I'm like this and I hear the sound. As soon as I hear this first or second, the third beep is already too late. As soon as I'm here and I hear the first or second, I just press right D-pad and I go up all the way. You just go all the way up. It doesn't matter where you are, just go all the way up. If you hear the missiles going after you, it's good because they will explode and just continue until you hear the last explosion. If you're hot, too high up, it's going to take you like 20 seconds to go down. You see how fast you can go down. So it doesn't matter if you're down here, if you're flying or if an oppressor. If you want to hit an oppressor, that's right there. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come to them. And once you lock onto them, you're going to pull chaff. You're going to fire as many missiles as you need. And you're going to fly, fly off away. They will not be able to counter that with any chaff, with any flares or anything else. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I'll probably do a video or just post a clip to show you or demonstrate how easy it is to kill someone. I'll also be doing any other possible tips and tricks for any vehicles, even probably some planes. They are really useful. This is useful as well because you can see how far down you can lean. Like you can kill targets that are down here hiding or anywhere. So again, that's going to be it for this video. Won't be making it too long, but this is it. I hope you all like this. Please make sure to use this in your own defense or if you really just want to 
piss someone out like piss some i don't know try hard or a coward out whatever just make sure you do this because people don't know how to counter this especially new level oppressor griefers so thank you all so much for watching and my name is Omojode and i'll see you in my next video peace out